Hello, Ludmila. How are you? Hello, Balan. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. Very good. We have very good news today. Uh, Putin changed his plan again. Uh, last 24 hours, uh, the Russian army didn't advance at all. And uh, as you know, probably you saw the uh, meeting in, on TV, Putin with Shoigu, that's uh, defense minister of Russia. And he said, uh, stop attacking Mariupol because we already achieved the goal. But as we know, they, they, they fight and trying to take over this uh, city. 57 days already they surrounded it uh, last four days they bombed it with uh, six over six uh, thousand pound bombs trying to destroy the de defenders as uh, these volunteers brave ukrainian mm -hmm. soldiers and they couldn't so they gave up because they're losing a lot of militaries every day trying to uh destroy the city but they still they couldn't and they gave up finally that's what i think well, on the other hand, I wouldn't be so optimistic because we know uh, who Mr. Putin is. And uh, if he gave up uh, some goals, this doesn't mean that he gave them up totally. Uh, so, um, on the other hand, uh, indeed, this is a recognition of his weakness and uh, the strength of Ukrainian defendants. And uh, I do hope that uh, today is or will become uh, the breaking point in this war, uh, since today uh, Putin and uh, all his allies uh, will get uh, better understanding that uh, all this war, all this, this decision uh, to um, start the war against Ukraine was a huge mistake. And I just hope that the realization of this mistake will uh, gradually force them to change their plans even more. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, rumors and actually Ukrainian intercept conversation between Russian soldiers in even uh, higher rank officers that generals, Russian generals, uh, uh, started sabotaging this war because they're losing a lot of uh, a lot of military, a lot of people, a lot of soldiers soldiers and they don't want to fight ukrainian anymore and uh, there are a lot of uh, cases like they order for soldier to go to uh, they uh, they give order to attack mm -hmm. and soldier turn off radio and they say oh my radio didn't work or even if mm -hmm. they move they move a little bit then later on they report oh we were under heavy attack so we couldn't advance and uh, this uh, some of them uh, just directly sabotaging and go to ukrainian militaries uh, surrender give the weapon everything so that's a good sign and maybe that's the reason why putin met uh, his defense minister in not in military uniform but in civil and if mm -hmm. you if you see in the picture Putin yeah. look kind of shrink and kind of not mm -hmm. healthy. He's holding the table. It looks like he's afraid he's gonna fall if he don't don't hold the table. And Shoigu also not in military uh, uniform, and it it can mean that they trying to uh, slow down with this war and trying to find the mm -hmm. way to withdraw from Ukraine. It's not gonna be easy, but uh, it looks like it. I just wish that that poor table could overturn both of these guys uh, if um, nobody else in the in Kremlin can do this. Uh, but uh, you have mentioned a uh, good word, uh, sabotage, and it came across my mind when uh, I was uh, thinking about uh, another news. Uh, we do remember uh, that uh, Mr. Biden uh, promised uh, very serious sanctions uh, to Russia and uh, a lot of uh, Western businesses, uh, I mean, and big corporations withdrew uh, their activities from Russia. Uh, yes. yes, but uh, still we have um, quite a list of those who remained working in Russia and among those, imagine, uh, who still conduct their business in Russia and continue gaining um, profits. Uh, these are uh, two very famous uh, savers of the world during the last two years. Uh, the producers of uh, the COVID vaccine, 
Pfizer and AstraZeneca. Pfizer, wow. They do continue working in uh, Russia uh, and they announced officially that they are not going to uh, withdraw uh, their activities from there. And of course, Russian media are ecstatic with this news and they keep reporting it uh, all the time. Look, these powerful Russian guys, they are still with us and they don't care, Dan. Excuse my English, French, sorry. Um, they don't care about sanctions and they continue doing business in Russia, no matter what, no matter sanctions, no matter war and uh, huge losses. Uh, wow. Ukraine, uh, business and money are more important than sanctions and morals and ethics. Wow, that's really upsetting. Especially if you know that all country taking like big hit with all this, they stop buying oil and uh, mm -hmm. stop doing business with Russia. And uh, what is justification to? to continue business with Russia. I, I really don't understand this. The only justification is my making money and uh, not actually caring at least a even a little bit about their own reputations. Well, actually, their reputations were compromised enough uh, during the last two years when uh, their vaccine proved to be not so effective as uh, it was promised. Um, I will not go into further details because I know the YouTube's and um, yeah, censorship. other providers policy regarding um, what you say and what you can never say about vaccines. Okay, but uh, in this case, we are talking about the presence in Ukraine despite sanctions uh, government imposed by uh, American government and European Union. They don't care about the sanctions. Uh, they actually violate them openly and they continue making money in Russia and supporting aggressor and supporting the war in Ukraine. Wow. I exactly. hope I hope they're going to lose business after this war in Ukraine and other countries will stop doing business with them since they support a country that commit genocide to Ukrainian. Yes. It's really upsetting. Yes, and uh, but we have good news, maybe not so great news, but we, we have news that Biden all uh, today and yesterday they announced uh, another military help to Ukraine. Uh, we know what happened with previous help that Ukrainian president said that uh, unfortunately, uh, whatever he asked, he never got this. So even smaller countries like uh, Dutch and smaller countries, they were giving, uh, start giving heavy artillery to Ukrainian and United States, the, the country who unarmed Ukraine took all nuclear weapons till now, they didn't give what Ukrainian needed to, for they the defense. They continue giving heavy promises. What is really heavy yeah. is uh, promises, but exactly not heavy was only promises and president said, uh, in interview that uh, they, they were asking him, uh, what do you need? Uh, can you give me a list uh, of uh, what what is necessary uh, for Biden? I can give it to Biden. It, it, but his president said, uh, I gave this list long time ago for President Biden, mm -hmm. but President Biden didn't uh, didn't give anything what what he need, what he, Ukrainian needed. What chances are that President Biden just lost this uh, list um, as well as he keeps losing other documents because we know that he has some issues with memory and other health issues to put well, in that. Well, he's uh, not the one who is running this country also. We have to understand okay. that uh, the same thing happened in 2014 when Ukrainian needed help and Obama was a president, so instead of military help, uh, Ukrainian got blankets and uh, some food, and that, that was it. And also some socks, as far as I remember. Socks yeah, and yeah. so the story repeated itself, and we have a similar, uh, similar situation, unfortunately. Well, uh, but we have, as, as uh, we started, we have great news. Uh, Ukraine is winning, and uh, Maybe that's a tactic. Biden decided will give the help when help is probably won't be necessary at that point because Ukraine will will win Russia and it's it looks like already it's it happening. Uh, 
Well, we appreciate all help. Thank you, um, those who are watching and listening to us, and please subscribe to this channel. And we will be broadcasting more, of course, and uh, bringing you more news from Ukraine and the US. Thank you, Ludmila. Slava Ukraini. Well, Slava.